So welcome back to the introduction to Capella course. Uh, the next portion of the course, we're going to talk about system analysis with the Capella model and how you would go about doing that and what exactly that means. Uh, as we mentioned before, the Capella model basically allows you to go from operational analysis, system analysis to develop the whole product and helps you you basically implement this innovation matrix. What we're going to focus now next on is the actual the problem itself and, and specifically the system analysis portion of the problem. Uh, and what we're going to be doing here is is basically what what the system has to accomplish for the user. Uh, now that we understood the problem with operational analysis that we covered in the previous lesson, now we're going to go into system analysis and define, a, define what part of that big problem we are specifically going to address. Now, the problem before was uh, had to do with charging, uh, uh, you know, having remote charging capability. And I remind you, this is the, the product that we're looking at. We're at the system analysis phase of how this product became uh, came to life. So in the system analysis phase, we're basically going to talk about two different types of diagrams that are the primary diagrams that you would use. One is called the system capability diagram or system capability blank diagram. Uh, its goal is to help you become familiar um, with how Capella uh, depicts system actors and modeling in the notation and also helps to depict the capabilities that basically the system has to deliver. This difference differs from the operational capability because now I've narrowed it down to what the system has to do uh, that we're working on. And the system in this case is the charger. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the system architecture blank diagram. That basically then shows how I deliver the capabilities uh, that was described in the previous section by basically having functions that deliver the capabilities through the entities to the charger to the to the to the actual phone. And you're going to become familiar with how to view the functional chains that are in that diagram. So as, as the other ones, I'm basically now going to jump over and we'll do a little bit of demonstration of that. Uh, and you'll see a little bit about the, the system analysis diagram. So uh, as, as we did with the operational analysis, there's a phase just dedicated to system analysis. Uh, and there's various steps that we go through of it. And what we're going to look at is a couple of the main deliverables of it. We have the missions capability diagram, or for basically the system capability diagram. So we're going to basically open that mission capability diagram and take a look at it. Uh, here it shows the, the user, uh, and it shows the USB device. And in this case, I started bringing in a little bit of how I'm going to solve the problem. I actually brought the sun in as being a source of, of basically how I'm going to generate the power. Now, so I made a little bit of a decision here that I'm going to go with solar power to basically generate power. And that generate power is basically has to happen to be able to, in, to deliver the capability of charging the USB device. Think of it as charging USB device includes the generate power. And that's what you're basically seeing here with this little line with the I in it. It means it's an include relationship. Now, the developer itself is still going to be involved to monitor the operation remotely. That capability is still carried through because we want to have that capability of, of basically the system. Um, again, uh, these capabilities that you see here, you notice that there's a little stencil over here, and this is the th way that we basically create these things. Now, when we go into later phases, we'll talk about how we basically drag and drop and create these uh, items on the diagram. It's very, very simple, uh, essentially picking them up and moving them over. Uh, but right now, we're going to focus on just kind of understanding what the diagrams do. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the basically the, the uh, system architecture diagram. Now with the system architecture diagram, now you're actually starting to, to put a boundary around what trail power is uh, as part of, far as a system goes. And now we're starting to show the actors interacting up and entities interacting with that system. Um, and so in this diagram, you'll see the functional chains that are being displayed here. Basically, the functional chains are delivering the capabilities. Uh, you'll also see all the, the actors carried over from entities carried over from before. And there's uh, other things you can start doing. You, start, you can start putting in sketches. And this is actual sketches from the design as it was being developed. So I'm going to go now over and I'll open up the system architecture and I'll open up the, the trail power uh, 
system architecture blank diagram and I'm going to open that diagram up. When I open that up you can see here that I have the trail power system and I've got a little graphic that came right from my notebook that I had when I was sketching this out and, and, and at this point I pretty much had made up my mind that I was going to be using solar power so I'm showing that the user is over here I've got the Sun producing light up here at top that's basically going to be used to charge the device and I'm showing now the functional chains that basically deliver the functionality that we were seeing earlier in the capability so I can do the same thing I did before with the operational analysis I can bring up the two views kind of see them side by side So here's my capabilities over here, provide 24-hour visibility, and now you see how that's being done by the locate charger illuminate at night. Uh, you'll see that the connect to the USB is being delivered by this green one here, uh, provide state and receive a connection. <coughs> Uh, we see here that the uh, disconnect is being provided by the blue one. I can disconnect the device. I can monitor the remote operation through the yellow flow here and actually see that happening. And again, I can move it around and make it look a little better. And then I can uh, charge the USB device. And you see that happening here through this essentially this purple flow where it checks, uh, accepts the charge. So you see that you know, basically the producing light is converting the light to electrical energy and then charging the device. Now with, with it, you may want to, if your product is pretty complex, you may want to just dedicate views for each of those different things. So here's, for instance, is just a charge device view that I've created with the diagram. Here's the connect and disconnect view uh, Elected, created here. Uh, here's the uh, monitor view, just the monitoring the, the thing, uh, the, the device. And here's the, the provide 24 hour visibility. So you have that flexibility. And again, if you change it in one place, uh, because that object here is uh, actually an object that's in a structure that can be shows shows up in multiple diagrams. And if, if I and if I do things like this, if I see that function, uh, you say illuminate at night and I use this semantic browser tool, I can see all the different diagrams that that function is in. I can find out how it's related and connected to things. So I can actually look around and take a peek at it. Uh, likewise, the capabilities that I had over here, I can show what they're realized in which functional chain um, that they're in. In this case, it's the provide 24 hour visibility. And I have that populated so that you can see how basically the capabilities are being delivered with the various functional chains. Now the functional chains are uh, uh, very flexible and in, in, in how you can edit and modify them. They're very easy to create. You essentially just select an object, the uh, link, and that creates the chain. But they're more than just um, a red line on here. They actually are a, a function, uh, uh, an actual object in a diagram of their own. And so I'm opening up one here and actually looking at that functional chain in a diagram. And that diagram is basically how you can go and edit it and add, add capabilities to that diagram in that functional chain. And so the functional chains are very important and you're going to see more and more of those used as I go through the lower levels of the model. Okay, so uh, going back to the slides. So in summary, the system analysis uh, basically understands what portion of the problem you're going to, to solve and narrows it down. You saw how the system capability blank and diagram uh, helped you depict the capabilities that the user of the system will expect. Um, and then you also saw how the system architecture blank diagram will deliver those capabilities with functional chains and functions through the system. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, and look forward to you listening to the next uh, session on logical architecture. Thank you.